let's connect the switches to the motors. The way we're going to do that is we're going to take a piece of this blue wire and we're going to strip off just a little bit of the end. And we'll loop the wire through the switch and take our needle nose pliers and crimp it. Like that. And then we can take the other end of the wire, we're going to run it through this part of, of the motor right here. And so to do that, we'll trim, trim off some of the wire and then we'll take our strippers and cut off the end. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And let's heat up our connections. There we go. You want to make sure that solder flows completely over the connection. All right, so we have all our connections there. Let's double check our switches. Good, switches still work. Okay, again, because we, if, we, uh, if we hold the soldering iron on against the switch too long, um, it can overheat the switch and cause it to not work. So we want to make sure that we didn't do that. Okay, so we've got our switches, our I should say we got our motors in place. Now let's take our next connection and let's make our next connection a green wire. So we'll take this guy and we're going to connect these two motors together. So we'll do that by running it through one end on one wire with one wire, or one end of the wire I should say. And then the other one, we're going to let the wire stick out a little further because we're going to want to tie another wire to it. So we'll just go like this. There we go. So we've got a lot of extra wire. Okay. So now our green wire is there and in place ready to go ready for some solder but before we solder it we're gonna make another connection to it and so the next connection we're gonna make is we're gonna connect a yellow wire to the green wire on this side right here and it needs to be about two inches long maybe a little shorter So we'll take these two wires and we'll twist them together like that. And we can trim off the excess there. We only need it together like that. Okay. And then this wire is going to connect to a switch that goes here. It's going to connect to one of these switches. And we've already bent one of those single pole, one of those uh, throws out of the way because we only need a single pole and a single throw. So we're going to connect here, and the way you can bend those, in case you were wondering, is you just take your needle nose and grab the, uh, 
grab the throw and just bend it right out of the way. Now make sure you only bend one on the ends. Don't bend the one in the middle because you need the one in the middle. Okay, so we're going to connect to that and let's see if let's put the switch in place first. So put a blob of hot glue there. And you want to push the, hot, the switch down on the hot glue, but make sure not to cover up the switch uh, mechanism so it can still slide back and forth. And also don't t cover up the, uh, the little uh, single poles or th the poles or throws there. Okay, so we want to make it, it's going to need to be about this long. And we'll, let's go ahead and solder these connections here. So we'll solder these connections since they're already ready to go. Tin my tip. There we go. Our wire. And we'll strip off just a little bit on the end. And we can bend this wire around in a loop like this. Like that. And then connect it to our switch. Okay, Ooh. there we go. Now those wires don't like to stay in that location very well. So now I'm going to take the other side of the yellow wire and I'm going to strip off the rest of the, or some insulation on the end, right here. I'm going to make another loop. And I'm going to try and connect that to the other two side. Now it looks like the hot glue has come loose and that, that happens from time to time. Uh, so if that happened, that's okay. So when you put the wire in through the um, pole, one, one thing that can help sort of hold it in place is to bend it just a little bit so that it kind of crimps the wire and holds the wire in place. Um, it's really hard to make sure that these two connections do not touch, but it's really important because if they don't, if they touch, then the switch won't work. Okay. So that one fell out, but that's okay. We can put it back in. All right. So now we have our switch connected. And this, this part, I think I'm actually going to use the third arm to hold because it's really hard to grab it. And we'll, we'll, we'll uh, hot glue it back in a minute. You can see these wires just love to pop right out. Okay, so we've got a good physical connection. Now let's make our, our connection with the solder. So we're going to tin the tip again, just a little bit there, clean off the excess, and make our connection.
And in that case, I got solder on the soldering iron, but not on the metal. So I need to heat the metal a little bit more. There we go. So see those two need to be completely separate. Okay. So now we can actually put a lot more hot glue on it and make sure that it stays in place. So we'll put just a little bit of hot glue behind it. Like, the, or underneath it I should say, like that. And this is a place where you really kind of got to be careful because it does want to move around. So just hold it, hold it on the top like that. Make sure you don't get any hot glue on your hands. Okay, so once you've got that in place, then what you can do is you can come back in and you can actually hot glue this whole area in here. And that'll provide a lot more sort of holding power keep the it'll keep the switch in place and also help to make sure that those two um, yellow wires do not touch when they're not supposed to 